How are we doing today, guys? Welcome back to another luxury home tour. My name is Darren Kriz, and today we are checking out this brand new construction Cape Cod styled home located in Encino, Los Angeles. This home features a total of six bedrooms, seven bathrooms, 10,278 square feet of interior space, and is currently priced just under $10 million. Let's take a look at it. As we enter the home through the very center pedestrian gate, we arrive to one of the cooler driveways you will see in this neighborhood of Encino. We do have two motor gates, one on each side, so you can pull your car in on either direction and not have to clog up traffic when you have a lot of guests over in your home. You look up to the exterior, I'm a big fan of all the gray features. This isn't your typical modern farmhouse that you'd be seeing in a lot of the brand new construction homes of Encino. They went a little above and beyond in this one. They made things a little bit differently than what you'd be used to seeing in this neighborhood. But to the left side of the home, you'll see the three car garage door and more of the nice Cape Cod looking brick, that East Coast style on the exterior that you're gonna be seeing a lot of. There are so many nice, unique features throughout the house. And check out the home. We have a couple columns to both sides before we enter through your front doors, but I think it's about time, so get ready for this one. Let's go check it out. So we've arrived to your Cape Cod traditional style Encino brand new construction home. As we arrive to your grand entrance, we see the staircase to my immediate right with the high coffered ceilings and the chrome chandelier hanging down from the very center. Below me, we see the checkered board tiled floorings with the gray and white contrasting tones. Can't wait till you check out all the unique things that this home has to offer, but first off directly in front of me. Here's the formal dining area separated from the living room and the kitchen, which is always nice. You can see probably eight to 10 people right here. To my left side, we have these smooth gray tiles, which look absolutely incredible. Contrast very well with the glass backsplash up there with the LED lights illuminating everything down beneath the windowed cabinetry above with more of the blue gray tones. We're gonna see a lot of that throughout this house. As we leave the dining room, this is just an extravagant entrance with the staircase, the super high ceilings, gotta be at least 30 feet potentially above me, but follow me down the checkered floorboards. And this is all we're gonna see with the checkered tile beneath me. The rest of the home is completely made of your white oak wood. But then to my right, this is your powder room. Directly in front of me here in this powder room, we do have a door that leads to underneath the staircase. This is your Harry Potter room, guys. You know I love a good Harry Potter room. As you can see, it goes all the way down here. You can store as much space or as many siblings as you want back there. If they're getting on your nerves, just throw them back down into this section. They can sleep here for a night or two. But as you get out of here, there is Another door, two dual doors that lead to another hallway, and you can see it takes us all the way to the backyard in here. But before we show you all of that, follow me backwards into this hallway. Down this hallway, we have gallery walls to my left and a few bedrooms that we're gonna take a look at. First up, this one to the right. We got a pretty spacious guest bedroom here. As you can see, lots of room, a couple of windows looking out to the front yard where you see the motor gate, the semi-circular driveway walk-in closet directly in front of me and this is also an ensuite bedroom unreal finishes in this guest bedroom from the marble countertops on your vanity around your sink to in the shower too this almost looks like something of a master bedroom unbelievable floating shower bench as well and this is just in one of the guest bedrooms in this massive house but follow me out of this bedroom this way we're going directly across the hall and then through this way we have this door Check out all the finishes in here. I love the contrasting tones with the wood finishes on the lower half of the walls surrounding the windows as well, looking out to the side yard, as well as up in the vaulted ceilings with the built-in speakers, recessed lighting. We have this beautiful chandelier above the dining table. It gives you the nice traditional vibes that this office space has to offer. And then to my left, bookshelf surrounding us, similar light fixtures on these wood beams. Plenty of storage space down beneath as well in all the cabinetry, the drawers, and then natural sunlight coming in through the front yard. 
directly to my right. You can see the massive tree in your front yard as well from this section. I love the staging in here. You have this little, this waiting area. Before you sit down, you got to talk to the big boss, the office space. But now you're ready to go. You're ready to start your day after, after work. But keep following me back down the hall. Now this is your formal living room, the family area. First we see all the gray tiles surrounding the fireplace. Up above flat screen TV, you can see the recessed lighting, built-in speakers, of course. I'm a big fan of this bulb light fixture above in this family room as well. And the finishes to both sides of the fireplace are incredible. Over on this side, on the backsplash, we have like a woven finish up against the wall as that wallpaper. All these floating wood shelves going up to the ceiling and then this amazing stonework right there with a crystallized textured touch to it. All of these chrome handles as well on the cabinetry, all the drawers. Similar on the left side, but just a little bit more space here on the left side of the fireplace. I'm a big fan of this stonework. They should put this in some kitchens. Guys, if you're a developer, if you want to see what kind of stone you want to put into a kitchen, add this. This is, this is nice looking visually and to the touch. To my right, we have these accordion doors leading out to the backyard. You have a full basketball court out there and a full guest house that we will show you in a bit. Right next to the living room in this corner, we also have another door that leads into your home movie theater. It's a pretty interesting location to have your home movie theater right on the back side of your living room. We not only have built-in speakers up on the ceiling, but we also have two up on the side of the wall as well. So you get the nice depth from the surround sound system in here. And if you stay right there, you take a look at what it'd look like if you were up on the top level here. And this is it, this is your home movie theater. It is pretty hidden, like I said, through the corner door in your living room, but let's get back out and show you the rest of this house. As we head back down this hallway, come over here, step aside. You can see that it leads all the way to the front entrance and will go directly through into the backyard. But as we keep moving along, this space just opens up directly to your beautiful chef's kitchen. I mean, just take a look at it. First off, I'm a big fan at all the light tones. You can see the light gray features in all of the cabinetry throughout. We're gonna start on this side. You do have one door with access to that backyard and then we have this dining area up against the wall, up against the windows, built in little seating space along the wall. And then your dining table is right next to that. Light fixture right above. You can easily see maybe eight people at this table. And then as we look in the kitchen, massive center island with these marble countertops, seating for four up along the outer portion of the island dark blue finishes in the space down beneath so much storage space throughout this kitchen then we have the built-in appliances you got the wolf steamer slash microwave right beneath we have the wolf oven large sink in the center of the island with the chrome faucet three pendant light fixtures hanging above the island and then more countertop space you can see the illuminated led lights up above Shining down on the countertops adds that depth to all the lighting. I love when they always implement that. Windowed cabinetry above going all the way up to the ceiling, the same light gray tones. And then this is where we have the built-in fridge and freezer just paneled into the wall. Freezer on the left. You see the built-in wine fridge, Sub-Zero once again, brand new, never been used. 2023 build here, guys. Doesn't get much more new than that. More countertop space over in this corner, and you have this little seating area as well where you can maybe read your cookbooks before you're ready to actually make the food for the family up along this side too. More built-ins in the same cabinetry that we've been seeing up above. And then in this way, this is where you have your pantry area with the sliding window door. More cabinetry, more built-in, same, same finishes that we see in the main kitchen as well. Full walk-in pantry too, but follow me back this way. Directly across from the garage door is your laundry room. Backyard access as well. Can't wait to see the backyard. We're gonna do that in just a second before we get to the backyard, guys. Make sure you like this video, hit the like button. Also subscribe, because you're gonna see a full basketball court. You're also gonna see me shoot a half court shot and make it, so stick around for that. But come on in here into this room. This is the entertainment section of your main level. You can see it's staged with a billiards table, a couple of seats, watch the game play some pool, have some bar seating over on this side. You can see the corner bar seating with these countertops. Absolutely love the look of these countertops. And guys, if I haven't said it in every video, blue is my favorite color. So I do like the contrasting tone with the gray and the blue. 
in this bar section. Over in the corner, you do have a couple of floating shelves. Very minimalist look, very simple look. And then you have your integrated chrome sink here for your bar, also built in mini fridge. Of course, once again, gotta always have that. Gotta keep the drinks cold somehow. And then when you're done, you're watching the game, you have drink in hand and you don't wanna stay inside. You can just say, all right, I'm going out to the backyard. So let's do that now. We've made it to the backyard. And first off, we have this little seating section with the wood beams up above us. And we've entered your massive yard here in Encino, Los Angeles, California. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, I can't wait to show you guys what this backyard has to offer. But first off, if I take a turn to the left, we have this concrete slab and a turf pattern between the concrete slabs as it leads to the front yard. You see the side door going out to the front. So much real grass space over here. Can you imagine just having your dog running around, playing fetch, throwing the frisbee around, throwing the football around, maybe playing wiffle ball. That's what I would do in my backyard when I was a kid. So there is a lot of space over in this side yard of the home. But as you can see behind me, you have a full basketball court. So we're gonna walk up there. Okay, it's about that time we made it into your basketball court. You don't see a full size basketball court too often at all. So you do have a hoop behind me, you have one in front of me. We have these green and beige tones along the floors. Another cool thing about this basketball court is you have built in speakers along the light posts up above me and there are lights. So you can't have a basketball game. You can shoot hoops at all hours of the night. There are surrounding lights for this court specifically. But let's check out the rest of the yard. All right, we're leaving the basketball court and making our way to the pool section. As you can see, there is this elevated area of the pool with the same wood flooring, a couple of day beds staged. You have some, some space up above to plant whatever you'd want as well. This is all your property. And then as we make our way to the pool, you can check out the house. Looks amazing right now. And you have these blue crystals in the built-in fire pit out here, which looks insane. It complements the light blue pool very well. You do have a spa over in the corner of a pool and a little Baja shelf next to that spa. But up along this wall is your water feature. Look at this, this, this looks amazing. You gotta have any, any kind of water feature just makes the house 10 times more. It'll probably raise the house value at, at least a million dollars. Don't quote me on that. But I mean, guys, just the surround sound of listening to water flowing into more water will just make you know that you're at peace, that you're home, that you know life isn't, isn't that bad after all. But this is a cool section to have. All right, stepping back down, we can see the jacuzzi to my right. The sun is coming out. It's an amazing day out here in LA. When is it not? We have the concrete slab and turf pattern leading into your guest house. Little covered awning as well before we enter. And now here we are. Here in our guest house, we have the high vaulted ceilings with the wood beams. And we do have a fireplace, pretty similar to what we saw in the living room and all of this bright tile surrounding the fireplace. You can also make this a second little entertainment area potentially as you saw the one in the main house as well. But, or you can have your, your in-laws live here, your parents or just a guest. Anyone that's visiting for the weekend can live in your guest suite right here. And if you follow me down this way, then this is where your kitchen is. In this case, you can close it off. Maybe you have the maid, the staff live here and then they can be cooking up a meal while you're still in the living room, just having your own peace without having to hear pots and pans clanking. You got the KitchenAid built in five burner stove right up above KitchenAid microwave. Again, everything is brand new. I love the countertops. Everything is bright colors, bright features. Again, brand new wood cabinetry. And then this backsplash, something we haven't seen, it kind of pops out at us right there above the sink. Directly in front of me, we have this Little outdoor bathroom changing area as you walk in. You got some towels, a seating area to put your clothes on after you maybe had a dip in the pool. And as I come out of that bathroom, we are now in this little space where we have some storage space, just a closet. And then through this door is where the bedroom is. This is a pretty large bedroom for your guest house. Once again, very high ceilings with more of that wood featured panel into the ceiling, recessed lighting and a fan in the direct center. We're looking out, we're getting a lot of natural sunlight, looking at the house, the barbecue grill, which we're gonna go out to right now through these double doors. 
Okay, and now we're getting a good view of the house. I mean, check it out. This isn't your classic modern, not even your classic modern farmhouse that you might see 99 times out of 100 here in Encino. This is a traditional Cape Cod styled home with the, I mean, you saw everything when we showed you all the drone shots in the beginning, all the exterior features, everything in the front of the house, more of the concrete slab, turf pattern, and look at how much bar seating there is in this outdoor bar. You can probably have 20 people sitting here, having a drink, having a meal, just like live, living the life here in this weather as well. I'm gonna go to this back side of the bar, elevated bar tops with your sink, all of the appliances you'd need down here, freezer compartments as well, built in blaze mini fridge down beneath. And then you have your, your warmer, your heater right there. You have your stove top, two burners. And then on the very left corner is your barbecue grill. So it's not in the center, you have more countertop space barbecue grill on the corner, cook up the burgers for the family, have a burger, hop in the pool, have a game of basketball. I mean, does it get much better than this? I don't know. And as we keep walking back into the house, we can see this covered patio section with a lot of built-in speakers, recessed lighting that is just lacing this entire covered patio area. And let's just go back inside. All right. As we make it to the top floor, you can see the coffered ceilings above me on your top level. There is a common living area up here on the top floor. But before we show you that, before we show you the four other bedrooms up here, this is pretty unique. As you walk upstairs, we directly arrive to this space where you have double doors. And this looks like it would be one of the common areas up on your second level. But this is actually the entrance to the primary bedroom, the master bedroom right here. Immediately, we see the light fixture above me in the center and the built-in speakers, recessed lighting. Fireplace to my left with similar tiles surrounding it, same bright tones. Staged incredibly, so you can definitely hang out here, watch TV, without being in the direct bedroom. But as we keep going straight, we have these sliding doors that lead out to a balcony for your master bedroom. And this is a massive balcony. It overlooks the entire backyard, the guest house. There is a lot of space out there. It extends almost half the length of the entire house. You can see the sun just beaming down on me. It's a beautiful day to just feel like you are home. You are in the San Fernando Valley, living the absolute dream here. I mean, look at this view, look at the palm trees. That's how you know you're in LA. When you see palm trees from your balcony, you're in Los Angeles. But let's go back inside. All right, through this door, you could also get into this main bedroom section from that balcony like I showed you guys. You can see to my right, another entrance and exit for your primary bedroom. But check this out. Look at this. We have the high vaulted ceilings once again with the wood paneling above us, recessed lighting, built-in speakers, a similar light fixture to what we've been seeing throughout the house. But this time it's in more of a brass tone. Over on this left side of your fireplace, unreal looking crystallized countertops here that contrast well with the blue cabinetry, the blue drawers and the chrome handles down beneath, soft closing drawers of course. And looking at the fireplace, similar tile surrounding it but more of the bluish gray tones bordering that fireplace. I mean, can you imagine living in this bedroom? This is unreal. I am a big fan of all the ceilings that they've been doing throughout the house. You saw it in the guest house rooms, but now you're seeing it in the primary suite. This is insane, guys. But now we gotta show you the master bathroom and the closets. Now here we are in your primary bedroom, bathroom area. You have a little hallway first off. To my right, we see the same countertops we saw in that primary suite. Down beneath, you do have a built-in mini fridge as well, so you don't have to go all the way downstairs to the kitchen two gray floating wood shelves, recessed lighting in this little hallway. But to my left, we have the first of two total walk-in closets. Again, recessed lighting and pretty much everything you need in your closet space. But if you think that's not enough, directly in front of me is your second walk-in closet. Now, if you have a his and a hers, this would probably be the hers because it's a little bit bigger and you know she definitely has more shoes than you, maybe. I do like this light fixture in the center. It isn't the most extravagant, the brightest. It's a nice simplistic look for your extravagant walk-in closet here. Lots of built-ins throughout. I mean, staging is very interesting for a closet too. Instead of the matte black handles, we have chrome handles here in this closet, which is maybe a little more luxurious for this secondary walk-in closet or the main walk-in closet. But now let me get out of here and take a turn to the left. Here's the bathroom. So first off, when you look at this bathroom, it's absolutely coated in marble. 
Over to this side, we have the toilet room, the water closet, marble everywhere, floors. Countertops are pretty unique. I do like the veins, the gray veins on these bright countertops and the gray cabinetry, chrome handles. Pretty standard looking sink right there. The wallpaper is pretty impressive. You don't see that design also with a nice gray complimentary tones throughout. And you have light fixtures on both sides of your mirror. We are looking out to the basketball court. Some natural sunlight is coming in. You can see that from the floors, the lighting on the floors. Looking out to that court once again, like I said. And directly in the center, here's your freestanding Victoria Albert tub. And then over on this side, this is your, your walk-in shower. Two chrome shower heads, one in the very center above me, and then one up against the wall. More marble surrounding us. You do have a floating shower bench in here too. And last but not least, handheld shower head. You know, I always got to check out the handheld ones. And this is one of the biggest handheld shower heads you will see. It's almost the same size, if not the same size, as the rain shower head up against the marble wall there. So that's pretty cool. Little shower niche up against the back wall. And directly in front of me, you have the same vanity that we saw on the other side. It is a symmetrical bathroom. When it comes down to the vanities, the sinks, the countertops, all the finishes in here, the light fixtures, the floors, I mean, this is an extravagant luxury master bathroom at its finest. So let's get out of this primary bedroom and show you the rest of the rooms up here. Out of the primary bedroom, we're gonna go down this hallway now where you see some other bedrooms. First, we have some storage space to my right and to my left, more storage space for your towels. We have your thermostat right there in the center of this hallway. We have an art gallery wall to my left to put your favorite posters. First off to my right, here is another one of the bedrooms. I mean, look at the scale of this bedroom. Look at the size of it. This is massive. This is the bedroom that you want to live in if you're growing up here in Encino. Staged with two full-size beds, not twin beds, and you still have enough room. You could probably even put two king-size beds in here. That's how much space is in this room specifically. This is almost as big as the master bedroom. I actually can't believe how big these rooms are. I mean, this house is over 10,000 square feet in size, so you gotta have big size rooms. Same wood flooring down beneath, but now we are looking out to the front yard, the semi-circular driveway, and this is en suite. So you have a bathroom with very nice finishes in the countertops. The shower has linear tile on the walls and the floors. We have a herringbone pattern down there in the floor tiles. Everything is also bright and white once again, like we've been seeing the theme throughout this traditional Cape Cod styled home. Walk-in closet to my left here for this guest bedroom. You gotta have a walk-in closet in every room if you're gonna be living in a house this big, this nice in Encino. But let's go back down the hall. Back down the hall to my right, you have another laundry room. So if you don't wanna do your laundry downstairs and you're up here, you wake up, you're like, ah, it's way too far to go downstairs and throw my laundry into the machines. You come up here, down the hallway a little bit easier it is almost the exact same in all the finishes and the features in this laundry room so we don't need to touch on every little detail but next to this laundry room is another guest bedroom en suite of course once again with a little bit of different tiles on the floors but we see the same in the floating shower bench the countertops and everything else in the shower once again walk in closet but now let's get out of here and go to that common area upstairs so here it is, there's a lot of room up here in your upstairs living area, staged with your sofa to my left, the cube light fixture above me in the center with the chrome cube surrounding that. And you have some desk space up against the wall with windows once again looking down into the front yard, quartz countertops right here in the entirety going from wall to wall. And then LED lights that illuminate the quartz countertops shining down on them. Floating cabinetry up above that open all the way up to the ceiling right there. And now instead of the chrome handles, the black handles, we have more of a bronze handle down there. Soft closing drawers once again. This would be nice for the kids to come up, hang out, get out of the rooms for once, and maybe do homework together here on the countertops while looking out into their amazing front yard of their home. But there is one more bedroom to show you up here on this level, and that's over in the corner, completely isolated from the others. Pretty similar bedroom to the other ones with the ceilings. I mean, every room in this house has the same high ceilings. You're not gonna feel claustrophobic waking up in the morning in any of these rooms. And if you do live in this room, you also have a safe right here down beneath. You can close it off, store anything down there you don't want anyone to know about, which is always a plus. I won't tell anyone. 
And then you have an ensuite bathroom in here too, over in this opposite corner with pretty different tiles on the floors. You have the smooth, sleek tile in the shower going up to the ceiling, chrome shower head, sliding door for your bathtub. And we're seeing the same finishes on the countertops here in the sink, chrome, faucet, but that was everything here. Of course, it was en suite. They're all en suite. But as you're ready to conquer the day, coming out of the room, we're back in this living space. That was everything this house had to offer, guys. If you haven't hit the like button, hit that like button right now. I'm going to wait one second. Do it. Okay, now subscribe. We're posting house tours like this and more videos, pretty unique videos coming soon in the future every single week, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.